Hello my dear friends, welcome back. So today we are going to deal with the industrial sector. All right. So this is sectors of the economy out of which we have done already. We are done with agricultural sector. Now we are going to deal with the industrial sector. So uh, industrial sector, first of all, the thing is uh, during the British rule or after the British rule, India inherited a very weak industrial base. Okay. And uh, as you know, the industrial sector, why this point is important that India inherited a weak industrial base because it is on uh, focusing on that one fact that all the other industrial policies or uh, development strategies have been formulated. Okay. Now, as you know, industrial sector plays a very important growth in the important uh, contribution in the overall growth of the economy both in terms of uh, output and in terms of employment and the main thing is that it is the major um, sector that creates linkages that is backward and forward linkages okay so backward linkages means uh, the effect it has on prior stages of production and uh, forward linkages means on uh, further stages of production for example if there is a um, shoe making factory there is a shoe making factory then the backward linkage is that it helps develop the uh, leather industry or the leather manufacturers. Then uh, that helps in the cattle breeders or livestock breeders. Okay, like that. That is the backward linkage. And forward linkage is, uh, for example, the shoe factory will be going on to some uh, customized, say, designer boutique and so on. Okay, that is in further stages of production. So that is the most important contribution of uh, the industrial sector. And this also, again, uh, the shoemaking factory, say it uh, takes insurance. Okay, then uh, it might adopt uh, advisories for market advisories. It takes loans. Okay, so the agricultural sector the service sector industrial sector so industrial sector links both the other sectors that is the secondary sector links the primary and tertiary sector of the economy and it has near about 30 percent 29 percent contribution to the gba cross value added okay now overall industrial growth in 2019-20 is estimated at 2.5 percent as compared to 6.9% in the previous year. So why, uh, as you know, there has been many uh, restrictions due to the COVID imposed lockdown. So 2019-20 growth rate is estimated at only at 2.5%. Manufacturing sector is estimated to grow only at 2%. Okay. So that's it about the uh, general data regarding general uh, introduction regarding the industrial sector now briefly about the industrial policies and uh, lpg reforms since we've already dealt with it i'll just briefly mention it and then we'll go on industrial policy we'll be discussing in detail later on right so the first industrial policy was introduced by india's minister for industry shama prasad mukherjee in 1948 okay first industrial policy in 1948 then comes the industrial policy resolution of 1956 wherein it focused on public sector led heavy industries uh, for with a focus on employment generation self reliance and provision of raw materials intermediate goods and machinery to help other industries okay 1946 industrial policy resolution then the most important is the 1991 industrial policy which was a reaction to the uh, BOP crisis. Then comes, of course, then just the post LPG period. Everything else is included in the post LPG period. Okay. So it is in the post LPG period that the contribution of secondary and tertiary sector in India's GDP has uh, increased. So we have already talked about liberalization, privatization, and uh, globalization in detail. So I'm not repeating it.